So I want to click on that stopwatch. You see we have now the position. And if we now move, we see that text is fixed to that point. But as you see, it doesn't really look good right in this position. So we can, of course, move it a little bit up and down or left and right. But uh, don't really in depth. So it's fixed to that wall. So I think now it's looking good. As you see, I also moved in the end of the uh, capturing. You see, it's it's really fixed. So as you see, it's right fixed on the wall. Of course, we we not only can use 3D text, we can also use, for example, videos. And therefore, I captured that small video. Uh, one of my mates is running this way from the city spawn into Nuke. So we can just easily drop, drag and drop our comp 3 into our main comp, uh, make it 3D, and give him the same position. Edit, copy, click on COM3, position, and paste. So we see both have the same positions. So if we now turn off that 3D text, and uh, moving our cam, you see uh, it's looking weird because that element is coming in front of us. And the reason for that is we have the wrong rotation and therefore we have to use the rotation. I also will change the mode to um, yes, overlay, uh, not overlay, normal. Click on T for the opacity, bring it down to 50. And now change the rotation. In our case that's Y. So now negative 90 should work but as you see it's really big so the next step is we have to scale it down and i think uh, something like uh, yes 13 12 something like that should work and i will also bring it a little bit up and move it a little bit backwards something like that so now change the opacity back to 100 and now you have also added a video to your yes to your wall <laughs> and uh, that should also show you you can add other 3d elements uh, just uh, normal texts also animated texts and of course other videos And of course, it's fixed. So now I will also turn on the advanced fix text and I will move it a little bit downwards and um, position. And I think the right position is something like that. And I think that's looking okay. Now change the uh, mode overlay mm, at change the transparency or opacity I think that's looking good I also can uh, do the same for our video so something like add mm, or overlay multiply mm. I think I will take normal and make it a little bit transparent we can also copy that of course and using effects like, um, yeah, what about Gaussian Blur? <laughs> so we can use, for example, blurriness 5 pixel and add mode. I don't know, I hmm. think it's looking quite good. 
So, now I think we have some problems with the um, overlaying. You see, that guy is running in front of the text, but you see the text. So, that's not magical. We have to use masks to cut them out. So, therefore, we captured that def. And in our case, the def was in capture one, or in take one. And you see here is a def. Import it. And that's our def. So now the trick is we have to create a mask. And as you see, we have information about the luminous, luma, whatever the brightness. You see we have white and uh, black. And between some gray colors. Gray colors. Anyway, so as effect we use keying and using the luma key. So with the luma key we can define the type of the key, key out brighter, key out darker, similar, dissimilar and so on. So I will choose key out uh, brighter and change the threshold so that the player is totally black as you see or better said not keyed and the background is keyed. So I think it's something like that. Of course I have to animate that. And I think that was not the first guy. And change to 7. I think that is looking good. Some seconds forward. And Let me choose. Now we can, yes, we can go forward. Use the value six, and use now the value zero. So we don't have keyed out the first seconds, of course. But it doesn't matter because our text is not in front. So now you see all the people are currently masked, and let's check the last one and I think it's looking quite good as you see. Now we can turn that off and use that as our regular don't know mask and now I will use that three times and put that um, over every three dimensional um, layer. So as you see, the text has one mass, the comp has one mass, and that um, blowy comp in add mode has also a mask. Now the trick is, we only have to use a track mode. You can switch that between the toggle switches, button, whatever, and use the alpha inverted mat. And that you have to use for every 3D text effect, as you see. So turn that off. That's our comp. Oh, that is f should be something like that. No track and alpha inverted mat. So moment. Advanced X our mask. So we have to use that alpha. And that comp has the alpha invert of that, and that's looking right. So as you know, see, our 3D text is hidden from that player in front. And in every situation you see, that is quite working. So I hope that tutorial helped you a lot and I don't talk too much. And uh, I wish you good luck and would be happy if you would give me feedback.